We are ready to uh, lay out the angle uh, for the legs now on our 10 foot piece. And I have my, uh, front, I have my um, speed square here, my roofing square, or, uh, wrapping square, whichever you uh, want to uh, refer to. And of course, uh, some people have a hard time reading and understanding these, so we want to go over how you use them. Now, uh, this is my fence. So I've got my fence up against the edge of the board where I want, and notice right here on this end, that's a pivot point. So we're gonna pivot this fence up here. Now we have several different scales along here. Along this edge is my uh, angles, so in degrees. Then we also have our common uh, roof pitches, or uh, top cuts, and then of course if you're talking about like a hip valley type cut, we have that as well. And just a regular inch scale from one to seven inches from the fence over here. Now, the angle that our plan calls for is 22 and a half degrees. So if you look at this, right here is 22. We're gonna have to eyeball it somewhere in between in the middle of uh, 22 and 23. Now, the way this works is we will use that pivot point and we will pivot until 22 and a half lines up with the edge. So, so right there, uh, somewhere around that point is where we will uh, set that. And then of course we'll scribe our line on there for the 22 and a half degrees. Now, we need to talk about this for a few more minutes uh, just because sometimes this gets confusing um, to people and you gotta start to remember about your uh, complementary and supplementary angles that you learned in geometry class uh, so that we can really follow through and understand uh, what this angle is, what the 90 degree are. Uh, so I will do some of this on the board um, uh, or in another video just to really help you understand what's going on with this angle here when we're taking these angle measurements.